Hey, what's good YouTube? Antayami here, back with another video. And in today's video, I have an undefeated, um, I still don't even know what to call this deck. Bestial control with a bit of rockets, whatever. I don't want to call it Dragon Link, but, because it doesn't go for the full Dragon Link combo, but right now, I'm going to call it Bestial control with, like, other engines in it. Um, so yes, I went undefeated in locals yesterday and it was phenomenal, right? And as you guys can see right here, I have this really cool called uh, card called Mirror Wall. And I took the Squiddy approach. Uh, shout outs to Squiddy to implementing this cool concept. I had a lot of fun with it, never drew it. Um, but eventually i will draw it in some locals and resolve it and it's going to be hilarious and people thought that discarding my deck was already hilarious in the first place so um but yeah uh mirror wall is there uh i replaced it with one of the um boot not boot sectors but the um quick launches so eh, i thought it would just be funny just to try it out i liked it a lot so anyway let's go ahead and get into the main deck it's 45 with the um, mirror wall, so you know it's it is what it is. The 45 cards. So we play one mirror wall because funny, and we play the one dragon ravine. Dragon ravine is just a foolish burial plus discard, and both of those come up like a lot. So um, the card that you want to drop off ravine in this deck is Soarnir, Lebellion, or the Saford. And the, I can't think of his name right now, Absa Router. Those are like the four main targets that you want to go for for Ravine. Um, going into the Bestial Package, of course, we play the three Lebellion. We play the three Magnamute. We play the one Soranir, one Ball Drake, one Druid's Worm. I think that's pretty standard. Um, we play one Beast, one Regain. I think that's also pretty standard for the most part. Uh, for the Chaos Package, we play three Safers. This card is like insane. If you open this card, it's like you have so many different options and different avenues you can play into. It's a strong card and it's also a great follow-up if it remains in your graveyard. Uh, one black, one white, one uh, Lebanon Ear. This card was like insane. It broke so many different boards. Uh, there was one hand where I triple attacked his talents, looked at his hand, shuffled one card back, and then I summoned this to shuffle another card back, and ended off with like seals, labellion, and stuff, and it was pretty much curtains from there. Uh, triple chaos space, uh, nothing need to be saved there. That card is insane. Going into the rocket package, I play one tracer, one recharger, one apps router. I play double quick launch. Um, technically it's supposed to be a third here, but, and one boot sector, uh, the rocket package was insane, um, all last tournament. It was really, really, really good. Um, and then for the Ringle Worm package, I play triple Ringle Worm. This card is so good. I, I think people really need to start playing this card now. Because, like, even going second, the normal summon of this card is so impactful, basically, when you um, put bestials on your side of the board. And, again, sorry that my webcam keeps freezing, chat. I'm so sorry. Um, but, yeah, when you normal summon this, this puts so much pressure on it because it can become a synchro. And when you do synchro on your opponent's turn, or on your turn... You can get another token later on in your in your bit video. You know, English is hard today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but you can banish this card to uh, put another token on board, and that can also become a tuner or non-tuner, and extend your plays as well. It's very very strong. Um, Ready fusion. Now this is in combination with the Ringo Worm, and there's like a lot of applications for it, right? So. I might go over some of the Ringo Worm Ready Fusion combos, but not only that, but Ready Fusion can also just be another tuner as well. Um, it can, this can also help me summon Sandwich, and that can extend into like Chaos Angel if I need to, which came up a couple of times in the tournament. It's very versatile. It's a very versatile card for sure. Uh, for the 
hand traps. I play triple droll. I mean, I feel like that's standard. Uh, gamma. I think that's also very standard. And then the two ofs. I played two ghost ogres and two nibs just to have it. Nib went in um, very well. It caught people off guard in the main deck. A lot of people didn't see it coming. And Ghost Ogre, I literally won my round one because I Ghost Ogre the uh, Prodigy twice. So, yeah, that that's a thing. Going into the extra deck, uh, we play one Pist, not Pisty, one Striker, one Seals, one Romulus, one Lambda. That's it for the Lynx. I think this is pretty standard for like, like my build for like a bestial control. Obviously, if you're playing more of a rocket engine, you have like the other links. You have like a, the pisty. You have like triple burst stuff like that. Um, for the ready fusion targets, I play sandwich and one Alvane. Now, if you guys look at my extra deck, it's gonna be a 14 card count. I was looking for a dark fire dragon. And his purpose basically is if I don't open any kind of like way to put a light and dark in graveyard, I can actually make him with the ready fusion, link him all for striker dragon, and then I have a light and dark engrave, and then I can like pop off from there. So yeah, so <laughs> I was missing that card. I couldn't find it. Nobody really had it. So yeah, I just stuck with 14. I was like, eh, whatever. He didn't come up, but um, in practice he has came up. Um, going into the synchros. We have one Coral Dragon, one Omega, uh, one Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, really good for time, but sometimes it can also be good for breaking boards, which came up once. Uh, one Boral Savage, some discard a lot. Uh, one XSL, uh, XL Synchro Dragon, some discard a lot. Chaos Angel going second, I some discard a lot. Uh, this, um, this pattern, some discard a lot. Baron. I feel like I summoned this card the least out of, um, well, I guess Coral Dragon I summoned the least. I summoned that card, like, twice. I summoned this, like, twice. But I summoned, like, well, I guess I summoned this once. So I guess this is the least summoned. But out of, like, these cards, I summoned this the least. But it's still really obviously good. And, um, yeah, it's a strong card. I'm going into side deck. We have... Triple Phantasme. I summoned this card twice in the tournament. Uh, I mainly side deck this for Heavy Samurai to like fix my hand and help me prepare board breaker cards and stuff like that. Um, it's really, 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 really insane. It keeps a monster on board and it's just, it, it's a great card. Uh, it's a level seven, so you can actually tribute it with um, Lubelion, which um, comes up a lot. And yeah, or at any other link deck. Uh, it can also be very decent versus sprites. Um, just to put a big body on board and like fix your hand and you know Pretty much can push through most boards once you have a draw two, put back one. It's really strong um, We play Kirakara. Kirakara is still really insane. I tribute over a second in Punisher um, That was basically her big main use at the last tournament, but um, very good especially versus cash Tira you still need to play it uh, Book of Eclipse. This card went in so much. It's so funny. Um, the biggest shine for this card was obviously versus Cash Tier, but I didn't play any Cash Tiers. Um, was that I could slide this going first, and then I just make my classic seal board, and then I could set um, Book of Eclipse. And it won me a game because of that, because they committed so much. And I book a Eclipse their stuff, and then once that stuff flipped up, I just seal bounce one of their cards, um, and then I Magnum Moot. Magnum Moot just went crazy. Uh, another thing is this helped me out of Dragoon versus Despia, and uh, yeah, it was really really strong. So really good. Uh, triple Tactics Thrust, very very strong. Um, triple Tactics talents also very strong resolve these cards a lot in the tournament and then i still got the one dark ruler one harpies did not resolve any of these cards but didn't need to so but yes um that is the deck profile 
Um, if you guys have like any questions, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll definitely will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And yeah, I actually might be taking this deck to the regionals, the Greensboro regionals. And who knows, I might take it to Nats if we see a ban list. But most likely, we won't see a ban list. So, Cash Tier is going to be a pain in my existence because that deck is crazy versus uh, Bestials. But that's it for the video, guys. Have a great one. Peace.